Hello, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing Bob's Burgers for a whole day. I'm gonna be eating three burgers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Another lazy afternoon. Good morning and time for a 8 a.m. burger. So I'm gonna be using Beyond Beef for the whole video because I do not eat meat. I'm not vegan, so I will be adding eggs and cheese, but just for reference, none of this is gonna use ground beef at all. So I'm gonna fry up some vegetarian bacon and then a one sunny side up egg because if you can guess, I'm gonna be making the burger from the movie, adding a little bit of salt and pepper to the egg for some flavor. Then it is time to assemble our burger. So I'm gonna do bun, our Beyond Beef with cheese, our bacon, vegetarian bacon, looks really nice, trying to assemble it nicely, as one sunny side up egg, and then of course topping it off with our sesame seed bun. And there you have it, the sunny side up summer burger. This is from the movie that I just recently watched and I think I did a pretty good job making it look just like the burger in the movie. I mean, it's very simple. And here we go, I'm gonna take a big old bite and try it out. Making a huge mess. I forgot that sunny side up eggs are runny, but it was very, very delicious. It was just a little bit awkward to have a burger so early in the morning. I can see why Linda in the movie was saying it was a little awkward, but it was still delicious. So welcome back for lunch. So I'm gonna be looking through my Bob's Burgers burger book to see what recipe I wanna make and what ingredients I have on hand. I decided on the Sweet Home Avocado Burger, which is meant to be like Sweet Home Alabama, but it looked really good. I had all the ingredients. So first I'm gonna be making the mixture, which is lime juice and some honey, whisking it all together. It says to dissolve on a pan and cook until fully dissolved, but the instructions were pretty vague, so I just fried it up on a pan until it made a nice, thick consistency. And then we're gonna be adding three-fourths of that mixture into the Beyond Beef because it says to use that and then reserve the rest for later for the salsa we're gonna add on top once everything is done. So I'm gonna thoroughly incorporate and mix it all together. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna let that marinate in the fridge for an hour. And while that's marinating, I'm gonna use that time to make our salsa. So these are the vegetables it recommends. It's gonna be tomato, bell pepper, and some red onion. It's supposed to be another onion, but I only had red onion. So I'm gonna add some salt, mix it all together, and there we have it, our salsa for the burger. Next up is fries because you can't have a burger without fries and make sure we're using shoestring fries because only Jimmy Pesto does crinkle cut. Now our Beyond Beef mixture should be done marinating so I'm just gonna reshape that back into a patty as you can see here. Then I'm going to be frying it up on a pan and cooking. And next we're going to be cutting up half an avocado to add on our burger and I picked out a perfectly ripe avocado I get so excited when I pick out perfect ripe avocados because I love avocados. So when they come out nice, it just makes me so happy. Then I'm going to carefully cut it into thin strips so I can add it on top of our burger. Then next we are going to assemble our burger and I'm gonna be doing it just like the book says in the same exact order. So bun first as usual, then our Beyond Beef patty, our sliced avocado, I'm gonna be putting a generous amount because I love avocado. Then I'm gonna be adding our salsa that we prepped earlier. I'm going to be very, very generous with this. I'm gonna put a lot of heaping tablespoons because I love veggies chopped up finely like this. So I'm gonna be very generous with it. Then the last of our sauce mixture that I reserved specifically for this, like the book says, and then topping it off with the sesame seed bun and of course our shoestring fries. And there you have it, the Sweet Home Avocado Burger. So in true Bob's Burgers fashion, I'm gonna be having some coffee. Teddy always drinks coffee. Linda always pours him the coffee. So I have some brewed coffee right here. So I'm going to help myself to a cup of coffee. Nice and hot. So I'm just gonna be tasting the burger and it was really, really good. The avocado and that salsa was just excellent, but it did need a little bit more salt to take it to the next level, but it was still really, really good and I'm just gonna eat it up. 
So it's dinner time and my brother came home and decided to help me. So I'm gonna be making the baby you can chive my car burger. It's from Big Bob's Diner, but Bob still cooked it. So I'm still counting it. So we're just gonna make it real quick for dinner. <laughs> All right, they're getting there. They almost dry. And then you gotta add some Cajun seasoning. I like a lot, because I like a lot of flavor. Let's get to dry combined. Oh. You're just getting lazy. What? At least double coat like four of them. Yeah, I guess so. It's just because it's harder to stick. These are gonna be some all-terrain wheels. <laughs> Add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mix it all together, and we gotta add a lot of chai gently. And there we have it, the patty. So this should be warm enough. Here we go, sizzle. I'm ready. <laughs> It's not that funky. It's salty. Alright, moment of truth. Alright. Ow. <laughs> Easy bake spatula we got. <laughs> Burning my hands. It's empty. Gah, f***. We don't have enough room for the bun. No. <laughs> There we go. We make things work. You just dented the sesame bun. You had to dent that one? There we go. Isn't that weird how math works? We got the bun. The old girl. Room, room. All right, so now we have the baby you can chive my car burger. So to make it fair, I'm gonna cut it in half so we can share that little. Then I got, each of us gets two wheels. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's try Which it out. Which one choose? Well, I want to spend less time on the toilet later, so I'll <laughs> get this one. Less cheese. All right, careful for the toothpicks. All right, so we're gonna taste test here. Ready? Mm-hmm. That's good with the pickle. I think this is my first time trying the the, what is this, Beyond? Beyond Beef. Yeah, this is my first time. Is it good? Does a meat eater approve? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Mom liked it. It's good, but it doesn't taste like meat. But it's really good. It tastes like meat to me, but even though it's not meat, mm. and you can tell it's not meat, is it still good? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's also not meat, so. All right, so I'm gonna finish mm. this and I'll be back later. After dinner, 
It's been an hour after dinner. I was gonna have dessert, but I am completely stuffed. I've been eating burgers and fries all day. I was gonna eat some ice cream, but I'm just too full. Like, So if you have the book or if you just love the show, please comment down below and let me know which burger you've made or would like to make from the show. I would really love to read your answers and see what you guys think. And who knows, maybe I'll try it out too, but I just really wanna know which one you guys prefer. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in more videos. Bye.